The member representing a natural south constituency in the Delta State House of Assembly, Dr. I.C. Kangus, has assured his constituents of continued purposeful representation. Honorable Isaac, who made this known in an exclusive interview with Lib TV News, in his office assured the three clowns in Anarcho South that he will continue with his effort towards ensuring the dividends of democracy are felt in the grassroots. He assured all stakeholders that their support and goodwill won't be taken for granted, adding that he will do all in his power to ensure that the confidence reposed in him was not in vain. Like yesterday, look at where we entered in the square. That swampy area now. We're there. So what the, my people should expect is a prosperous uh, many years to come in terms of appointments, in terms of projects, in terms of empowerment to our youths. Uh, I believe in the, that is equal distribution of things, actually. I do believe in it. Even my aides now, which you can see they are not out yet, the only who, but it will soon be out. When it comes, you will see the so called clan of Bashi, Obolo. They are there. That's my way I do things. And I will thank God, the, your, your people with your media houses. The issue is we should also advise our people that we need patience to. Be able to achieve anything. Patience works a lot. It's not only projects and empowerment. No, no, no. Other things are like if there are educational issues that has to be for our people, I should be able to be involved in terms of helping, especially those vulnerable people. Whatever I can do, I'll be doing that one. Then I'll be visiting the class. I'm not going to say my constituency has our come. No, no. I want to go. Are here. If what we have done or what we will do, you understand me? So that I can have a, a, a document before me. On the ongoing agitations for the zoning of the local government chairmanship slots to Nsukwa clan by the equity group, the lawmaker urged the leaders and youths not to put all their eggs in one basket. They are going about it the wrong way. Agitation is okay. No, you know, I'm only referring to what that is the equity people that are fighting. They are going about it the wrong way. You see, to agitate is a very good thing. But you cannot put your eggs in one basket. You agitate it. Okay, you don't want you to go. You don't want you to go. What about if he goes? Will he now listen to you for to to support that he goes back to us when he finishes? Don't put it. There must be A and B. If they agitate him, that you, to me, you is doing well. I have been in the council when there was no money. I have been in the council when I was able to even gather the little one to do something there for people to see. Now, Judy is there now. Things is better. The allocation is getting better. And he's showing it. He's doing the job. So what happens now? If Jude said, because I learned he has not said open that he wants to go. It's people that are talking, have you? If he said he wants to go, and you say he will not go, then later he wins you and go, and is there. What happens to you? Or are you going to say, okay, if you go, that the Zokwagla must go that six years to when he comes to us in 2007. You see, why I say you should not throw it into one basket. Remember, local government is determined by the governor. That is who goes. Is it primary you are going to use in winning? I'm asking. So you cannot put your eggs in one basket. Don't follow one line. A, A, A. Mm. Let them be B, 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 too. Even though I don't believe they are cheating anybody. But what is the plan? How do you get what you are agitating for? Is it through insulting people on social media? No. You, you plan. You plan. Sit down and plan. As a first timer in the house, Chief Anguze has shown capacity and commitment to his jobs based on his impactful representation within his first six months in office. From the State House of Assembly here in Asaba, I am Gospel Amalia Mifobo reporting for Leap TV News.